I want to go back to Wade Phillips and his 3-4 defense because mm -hmm. I want to specifically focus on the defensive line and how you guys think they've played the last two games. So Sylvester Williams, we have a story today talking about how he really likes moving and playing in the 3-4 defense because he thinks it exploits the Broncos' depth a lot more. Um, going into more finer details, and I'll admit that I don't totally understand it, but the difference between Wade's system and Del Rio's system was um, a, a one-gap versus a two-gap system. And this uh, is simplified for guys like Sylvester Williams. Right. And, and Sylvester Williams seems to be thriving this. But I'm curious what you guys think, based on the last two games you've seen, the two preseason games you've seen, how do you think the defensive line has performed? And, and do you think they're taking to this 3-4 defense well? Les asked me yesterday uh, what I thought would be the weakness or the weakness of the Broncos. And he was talking about maybe the special teams. I, I think you still have to take a long look at the defensive line. The depth that exists there with uh, – with, uh, you're missing one of your starters for four games because of the PED. Derek Ant Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, Antonio Smith, we, we haven't seen. I saw him standing on the sidelines, but he really hasn't been ready to play. We don't know whether his circumstances with the law will ever be decided before the season starts. Uh, they put Marvin Austin Jr. On injury reserve for the year, I couldn't understand why they didn't go ahead and release him. He was out of shape, out of overweight. He had a growing problem. I don't know why they're paying him unless they think maybe he's still young enough that he can help them in the future, or that this is a wake-up call for him. They got Kilgo. That's they're thin in the mm -hmm. middle and a rookie. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're thin in the middle. Malik, we know, is going to be a Pro Bowl type. Without they've got Vance Walker who was a disappointment last year in Kansas City, although we had a Kansas City writer on one day who said he thought that it was bad, that he liked him, thought it was bad circumstances. And Sylvester Williams is really unproven, even though right. he's a first-rounder. So he's if in I had to pick, year. because yeah. we wondered about Danny Trevathan and Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall played like a all-world uh, on Saturday night. He's fine. He's, he's good to go. Danny's going to be brought along. But they've got some depth at linebacker. I was impressed with Todd Davis. Who's a backup guy? So defensive line to me is still forget the mark. offensive line for a, a second. Work in progress. That is that is going to be an area that you want to control both the offensive line and defensive lines. That's the two areas of question marks for the Broncos. That said, the first two preseason games they've done a pretty good job. Mm -hmm.